हेलो एवरीवन वंस अगेन वेलकम टू पीएम नेटवर्किंग गाइस टुडे आई हैव सम क्वेश्चन फॉर यू एंड इफ यू नो द आंसर देन यू डोंट नीड टू वॉच दिस वीडियो बट इफ यू डोंट नो द आंसर देन दिस वीडियो इज ओनली फॉर यू बिकॉज मेनी टाइम इंटरव्यूअर इज आस्किंग दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन इंटरव्यूअर इज आस्किंग सेनारियो बेस्ड क्वेश्चन नाउ अ डेज ओके सो सपोज आई हैव टू स्विच एंड आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू ऑन रियल डिवाइस नोट ऑन पैकेट ट्रेसर और इन जी एन एस थ्री आई हैव टू सिस्को स्विच दिस इज सिस्को स्विच एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो अ सिस्को स्विच बोथ स्विच आर डायरेक्टली कनेक्टेड थ्रू थ्रू विच पोर्ट थ्रू पोर्ट फास्ट इथरनेट वन स्लैश जीरो स्लैश ट्वेंटी By default, duplex mode of these interface is auto. By default, duplex mode of interface is auto. And how many duplex mode are there? There are three modes. First one is simplex, half duplex, and full duplex, right? So by default mode is auto means it will negotiate their duplexy. And maybe it's working on full duplex. So actually we are using switch. So switch works on full duplex. So mode of this interface will be full duplex by default. Full duplex mode of this interface will be also work on working on full duplex, right? Okay. Now my question is, what will happen if I will change the mode of this interface? Mode of this interface. What will happen if I will set mode of this interface duplex of this interface from full to half duplex half duplex first question is what will happen if i will change the duplexity of this interface on switch 1 this interface will work on full duplex or on half duplex or switch 1 will automatically negotiate their duplexity and it will also set their mode to to half duplex Half duplex. Okay, what log message will be generated by device when I will change dupl mode of duplex on one switch? On other switch, what log message will be generated? A port will be goes down or not? Will this link will goes down first, and then it will come up? What log message this device will generate, and what duplexity will be? negotiated first question second question is what will happen if i will change the speed of this link if i will set by default a speed of fast ethernet link is uh, is suppose 10 mbps yes 10 mbps so what will happen if i will set a speed from 10 mbps to 100 mbps okay will switch 1 automatically negotiate their speed and switch 1 will also set a speed of this interface to 100 mbps or what log message device will generate right and the last question is how to inject a static mac address in the mac address table of switch mac address table of switch so we are going to discuss these three question in this video i am going to show you practically directly i am not going to discuss what is full duplex or half duplex right simplex i am going to show you practically what will happen if i will change the mode of duplex one side right on other side on uh, neighbor switch what will happen which log message this device will generate then what will happen if you will change a speed and then i will show you how to inject a static entry in mac address table okay guys so without wasting our time let's begin i have access of switch 1 and switch 2 okay so this video is for basic trouble shooting i have two switch two cisco switch both are connected through fast ethernet 1/0/21 you can see over here i have access of both switch switch 1 and switch 2 first of all let me show you cdp neighbor so that you will came to know how many device are directly connected with switch 1 let me change who name switch 2 okay now let me run so cdp neighbor command on switch 1 so cdp neighbor so there are three switch four five okay first of all let me down 
other port how many port are there fast ethernet 1 slash 0 2 fast ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 24 there are 24 fast ethernet port and 2 gigabit ethernet port okay first of all let me down all interface all port so command will be interface range fast ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 1 to 24 this is how you will configure multiple interface together shut down okay now so cdp never now you can see no other device is connected with switch 1 okay so cdp never you can see now in the same let me down all port of switch 2 as well interface range fast ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 1 to 24 and shut down exit exit so cdp never you can run so cdp never to check directly connected device okay now guys now i am going to change duplex of one switch right on switch one on fast ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 21 first of all let me run no shutdown command okay in the same way on switch 2 also we have to up 21 port 1 slash 0 slash 21 no shutdown switch 1 and switch 2 is connected together through port 21 okay so cdp neighbor you can see switch 1 is my neighbor now right you can check again switch 1 who is my neighbor switch 1 right on which interface hold on time and whatever information are there you can read okay now on switch 1 let me show you duplex of fast ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 21 guys you might have uh, remember duplex C. there are three duplex first one is simplex second one is half duplex simplex means this is a one way communication half duplex means two way communication but note at the same instant of time we had discussed in theory and full duplex is two way communication at same instant of time right two device can send or receive data at the same time and by default role of port is auto auto means negotiation right duplex will be negotiate right so both switch will decide uh, their duplex by negotiation because by default port role is auto okay let me show you go to r1 and then show interface fast ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 21 you can see over here uh, duplex full duplex right it's work on full duplex there are a lot of information you can check on switch 2 as well 0 slash not 1 slash 0 slash 21 you can see duplex is full duplex right and this is a speed a speed is 10 mbps by default so today in this video we will manipulate duplex and a speed and how to configure multiple interface at the same time with a single command so you can use range command right you can see fast ethernet link is up line protocol is up connected hardware address is this one this one is mac address this is bandwidth mtu delay reliability tx load rx load right transmission load and uh, receiving load receiver load okay so these are information encapsulation protocol is arpa protocol look back look back is not set okay keep alive after every 10 second mode is full duplex speed is 10 mbps right okay so you can check this information fine Okay, now if I will change duplex of switch 2 
first ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 22 what will happen by default mode is auto right and let me set half duplex i'm going to set half duplex on switch 2 then automatically switch 1 will negotiate switch 1 will also set their mode to half duplex from full duplex right so this is very important for interview sometime many time interviews asking this type of question what will happen if i will set change the duplexy of interface to one side what will happen on other side it will automatically negotiate okay so interface fast ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 21 you can see over here duplex is half duplex and in the same way on switch 2 if you will check duplex will be half duplex okay interface fast ethernet 0 slash 21 and duplex auto okay so if you will run auto command now it will not uh, effect it will not effect if you will set full duplex then automatically switch one will negotiate you can check it so interface not ip so interface so interface fast ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 21 fine you can see now you can see the error duplex match mismatch error right so when you will change duplex one side then you will get some error right but after some time it will negotiate automatically okay line protocol is down then it will come up again so whenever you will change duplexy one side right it will give you one duplex mismatch error right so first port will goes down then port will again come up and then they will negotiate their duplex again so interface f 1 slash 0 slash 21 you can see now duplex is now full now it's work on full duplex in the same way r2 let me change duplex again 21 duplex half duplex okay now you can check it on r1 you can see the error mismatch error then port will goes down then port will come up again and then they will negotiate uh, switch one will automatically set their duplex it to full duplex from to half duplex from full duplex okay so you can see on switch one also you can check it so there are some log message duplex mismatch error port goes down then port will come up again okay so this is how what will happen if you will change duplexy one side on switch one you can check it also 1 slash 0 slash 21 mode is half duplex okay so hope it's clear to you what will happen if you will change the duplexy now guys let me change a speed a speed okay so on switch first of all let me show you by default a speed by default a speed is 10 mbps per second right 10 mbps 10 mb per second okay so ip interface so interface fast ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 21 okay so you can see speed is 10 mbps okay what will happen if i will change a speed of link one side go to interface f0 slash 21 and a speed let me change it let me set 100 over here okay now let me show you a speed on switch 2 and switch 1 on both switch first of all you can see the log message first of all your port will be goes down then port will come up again so interface fast ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 21 now speed is now speed is 100 mbps right on 
on switch one you can see see the error uh, log message and so interface fast ethernet one slash zero slash twenty one you can see the speed it will negotiate automatically right so here speed is one hundred mbps now right so switch will automatically negotiate their speed and duplexy okay and speed is auto if i will say speed is auto then you can see what will happen again as now speed is again 100 mbps right both side so if speed is 100 if you have set speed 100 mbps right and then you will uh, run a speed auto command right it will not effect right it will not effect go to interface fast ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 21 then a speed and 10 let me set a speed 10 okay now you can see on switch 2 i have run this command you can see the log message after that so interface f 1 slash 0 slash 21 now speed is 10 mbps and switch one will also set their speed to 10 mbps from 100 mbps you can check it on switch one as well you can see the speed speed is now 10 mbps okay so these are question interviewer is asking to network engineer many time what will happen if i will change a speed of uh, interface one side what will happen on other side okay now let me show you how to how to inject a, st a static entry in mac address table how to inject a static entry in mac address table suppose i want to bind a mac address with fast ethernet 0 slash 21 so first of all command will be mac address table after that static so here you can see <coughs> sorry static after that whatever mac address you want to inject on this interface after that vlan id so vlan id is suppose for which vlan for vlan one and on which interface so on interface fast ethernet one slash zero slash twenty one now let me show you mac address table so mac address table you can see on fast ethernet one slash zero slash twenty one there are two mac address right one is static and one is dynamic so this one is dynamic mac address and uh, 0001 is a static mac address okay so a static mac address will be there per for permanently and dynamic entry will be there for 300 second only right for 300 second only for five minutes only okay so this is very basic troubleshooting right when you will get this type of log message uh, duplex mismatch log message or when you will uh, change a speed of interface of one switch what will happen on other side right so guys if you like this video please hit on like button if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe this channel that's all for today we will meet soon in next video